Hey guys, welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 walkthrough for the crown of the Ivory King DLC. And in the last video we unlocked a shortcut. So, let's head to the shortcut. But first, we're going to have to kill these guys. It's not my plan to kill them up close, but... Eh, it's not that bad. Now, I'm just... <sighs> Call it morbid curiosity, but I have to see if that guy responds. I don't think he would. It would be ridiculous if he did. This asshole over here is gonna die. Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Hold on a second. I did not realize that there was a porcupine over here. Got it. Ooh, that was dangerous. Oh, you can bet that I didn't know that that was dangerous. Let's just kill him normally. We don't need to use poison. Save those poison arrows. Someone worth it. Owie, owie! Missing that Clorenthi ring! What's he doing with that spell? Alright, curiosity time. Let's check. I don't, they, I mean, they, they wouldn't, right? No, they wouldn't, of course they wouldn't. I'm curious to see how many, how many guys ended up dying after pulling that switch. Let's see what happened to this guy. So he was fighting him in here, and then he died. What about this guy? Also probably fighting him here. Ill-advised uh, Estes Flask. Try Dark Spirit and then switch. Uh oh Oh! <gasps> oh no! That was very bad. Oh no! No, come on. Owie. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm wasting all my flasks. Right, that was the shortcut we unlocked. Get over here. Oh, another one. They're everywhere. It's like a fucking zoo. Got him. There's another one. And another one. Poor guy, just died. Alright, life gem it up. Let's see what's through here. And through the other direction. Are those golems? Those are definitely golems. How strong are they? I don't care how strong they are. Everything dies to poison. Well, maybe. Golems don't. Yeah, they're, it seems they're immune to, po to, to poison. Weakness luring it out. Well, this is not good. Not good at all. What about this one? What does this one do? Okay, that one is alive. So... They are only, they only come to life when they have that glowy thing. I'm still not sure if that if they none of them can be poisoned. Oh god, did he grab me? No. Still good. Watch out. Let's turn him out. Okay, he's not gonna follow me in here. Is he? Do they take poison damage if they're alive? No, no poison damage in general. Immune to poison. This is not where I want to be. Do not want to get the attention of any of those stupid porcupines. Is 
just not moving. Alright, we got it. But I bet... That's gonna cause another one to come to life. Alright. This one. What happened to you? Oh god, he got eaten. He got eaten! Take this guy out. Dead. And then it's your turn. You can't spin attack me if I keep hitting you with arrows, can you? Nope, you cannot. Okay, he's coming alive. Hmm. This one looks a little more upset than the last one. Definitely don't want to get hit by that. Ooh. Just treat it like a mini boss battle, Mitchell. Just treat it like a mini boss battle. Be patient. You know what attacks are coming. And you got this. Oh. Another one's coming. Maybe not. Doesn't always have to come. Oh! Ooh, that was bad. Another one is coming. Maybe not. Bring up the attack. And then attack. Got him. Anything through here? Fatty. Because <laughs> you can't fit through it. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Do your fucking worst. Where did you come from? Charcoal pine resin. Okay, that one's alive. Can only one of them be alive at a time, I wonder? Let's test this theory. I think only one of them can be alive at a time, which is great news. Ow! If that's the case, we can fuck this guy up right now. Hypothesis is proving to be correct. Go. So this guy, this is the one we want. Get over here, you son of a bitch. All right, once again, Mitchell. Treat it like a mini boss battle. Know which attacks are coming, dodge them, and punish. Another attack, and that's an opportunity. We get one hit in, we back up, don't get grabbed. Attack. Whew. Get it. How about another one? Oh, ran out of stamina. We got greedy. What you gonna do? Whew. And you're dead. Ain't no thing. really just say ain't no thing? I'm sorry. I'll never say that again. You and up. Anything down there? Only death.
to the other side of the bridge? We did. We made it to the other side of the bridge. Okay. Three of those guys is going to be tough to deal with. Tough to deal with. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this is cheap. I'm not going to argue that. But sometimes, you, you know what? You got to take whatever bone Dark Souls gives you. And the bone I have right now is that these guys are fucking idiots who can't fit through a door. But they also don't want to get poisoned. Because one of them keeps stepping in the way of the other. Oh. Huh. I'm about to do something really dumb. Like I said, it was really dumb to do that. Really, really dumb. Oh, I thought I would kill him. God damn it. Alright, so I'm back, and there's something I wanted to test. I wanted to see how, uh, how well a fire-infused... Dark uh, Black Steel Katana, or whatever this thing is called, uh, will do against these guys. And it looks like it does. It's pretty strong. I think it works pretty well for how fast it is. I mean, it doesn't have the awesome moveset that the, uh, the Majestic Sword has, but I think I can make this work. go um, I'm wondering if I should just try to run I wonder if I should just try to run through this I mean I, I probably should kill these these goddamn animals right here that should have hit make sure I get them all especially this one right here there we go. One hit kills with this. And they're coming for me. Now, as with most katanas, unfortunately, the problem with this is going to be uh, equipment degradation. Uh, should probably use that that ring that prevents uh, equipment degradation. Degradation. I'm just going to make a run for it. Let's just make a run for it. Alright. This guy is going to die. We'll kill this one because I don't want them following me. Oh, come on! I don't think they're following me, so I think we're fine. The big question is going to be... How well is this going to work on the golems? <clears throat> Let's, uh, I would like to run through, but I really want to kill these rats. The rats, I think, are the, the bigger threat than the, than the golems. If I can just lock on, you're dead. I want to make sure no one's behind me. Right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, I was wrong <laughs> about uh, them only being able to act, uh, activate one at a time. Oh, I also don't think that this does as much damage as the majestic on these guys. Come on. Ouch! 
Run away! They can't use a melee attack, can they? They can definitely follow me in here. And they also don't get poisoned, gotta remember that. I think I need to switch to my... My Majestic once I get through this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you're not gonna come, well, I'm gonna hit you with arrows. I know we're, we're both waiting for the other to move, but someone's gotta do something here. And it's gonna be you! Oh, shit! Ooh, 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 ooh. That one point of vitality paid off! God, I might as well just use my arrows because they deal as much damage as it, almost as much damage as my uh, katana. Right, two more hits should be done. Four, no, three, two. Three works too. All right, uh, we're switching that out. Nothing behind me. Good. Let's take care of that thing. Come on, you bitch. Do your stupid little roll. I don't even care. Ow, 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 ow. Another one. Just like the other one. Alright, and we're gonna run, 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 we're gonna run, 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 but first we're gonna run away again, 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 cause I wanna kill that porcupine, come on, ow, 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 damn it, damn it, damn it, oh, you've got to be kidding me! Alright, so I learned a couple of things in that last death. One, I learned uh, that there are... I should probably take these guys out from over here. Instead of waiting for them to come after me when I get close to the golems. Alright, and it looks like they're coming after me right now. The second thing I learned was just block that roll. Don't try to time it. Even though timing it makes you feel really cool. Uh, it's dumb. It's a dumb thing to do. Just block. You block 100% of that physical damage. There's no reason to try to to time it so that you you attack right when they get close. All right, there we go. Now let's run past these guys. This asshole. Just gonna move. Just gonna move. Just gonna move. Pull the lever, Crunk! Well, there's no way they can fit in there. Right? There's no way they're gonna fit through that door. And they don't have any projectiles, so they might as well just do a little dance and entertain me from there. Bye bye, guys! I love you forever! Now, this is where we have problems. could cheat it. I really don't want to. And this is not the bridge that I thought it was. Hmm. I mean, we, should we try to run? No, this is the bridge that I thought it was. So what is the purpose, I wonder, of killing these assholes? I guess to get whatever's on the other side over there. Hmm. 
why don't we try something else? We know that they, they have problems coming into that area. So why don't we use a pyromancy flame? And see how Dance of Fire works. But first, we're going to draw their attention. Alright, got that guy. Nope, I thought I got him poisoned. Okay, that's Dance of Fire. I do remember this one. This was something I learned from the last DLC. And it was just as pointless then. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. Come on. Dum 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 dum. So that's that. Uh, if we use the strong attack right here, it's a straight stab. It should be able to shish kebab those guys. Pretty good. Not if it hits the wall. Not if it hits the wall. Yager. Owie. I have enough life gems to outlive you. There we go. Almost got him. And you're done. Now, let's see what we win. Why don't you show him what he's won? Radiant Life Gem. Azal's Staff. And three Cracked Red Eye Orbs. Let's see what that staff says. Staff of Azal, Sage of Forosa. Rather roughly crafted, but imbued with the magic of Azal. Greatly intensifies spells, but also drastically, drastically reduces spell usage. This staff, unfit for the inexperience, is evidence of the Sage Azal's prowess. So, S rank in, uh, in intelligence. That's pretty damn good. Alright, so before, like, uh, stop, uh, put, take your fingers off the, the keyboard for a sec. You see, you see, one of the problems with uh, coming back this way and having the menu screen up reading flavor text is that I don't get to see the obvious trail of bloodstains leading up this hill. So I thought that this was, uh, there, there really wasn't anything over here except for the, uh, the treasures over there. But, uh, of course, uh, we actually have to go up here and we can see, hello there. Take care of you. Hopefully you don't have a friend. Oh, you're dead. You're dead to me and everyone else. Okay. What a nice view. Let's just do a little slow. Wait, hold on. Make sure no one's up there. A little slow, pan, slow pan of the beautiful view. A little faster pan because I hear something. Those stupid frickin' porcupines. And they're not behind me, so these are the only ones. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit them from up there. Uh, let's heal up. Come on, you bastards. Get down here. Come down and fight. Oh, God. Not a good move by me. Right, got one. And I can deal with another one. Very easily. Dead. 
Okay, one more flask. Oh no. Uh oh. Spaghettos. Knocking down. Get away. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god. Oh god, I can't fall off. Don't want to fall off the edge. I also don't want to use another flask. One more should do it. Oh, come on. Poison. Get poisoned. Why did I not get poisoned anymore? Did they get an immunity to poison because I've been using it too much or something? Whatever the case is, it's not working. Let me see something. Well, never mind. I thought for some reason it wasn't using poison arrows, but no, it's definitely using them. How do these guys die? Gorgeous view. You got that right. I see you there. Anything from the top? Nope. Just this guy. Alright, come on. Come on. Bring it on. You got nothing. I hate getting hit by them every time I attack. Mind Balm. Another one of these guys. Let's be careful about rounding that corner. Oh no! Heal up. And one of these should do it. Well, I mean, more than one. Shit. No. You. Don't, you son of a bitch. I need to get over here and use one of these. I want to be careful that I don't. Oof. I'm gonna break it. I'm definitely gonna break it on this guy. I don't want to break my sword. But I have no choice. Got it. Okay, good. Repair powder. I'll do enough for now. Looks fine. Secret? Nope. Looks like there should be a secret door there, in my opinion. Secret? Looks like there should be a chest there, in my opinion. Not that it matters. Oh well. Saint! You, be ye friend or foe. Hurrah for ally! Good, I like allies. Allies are great. Oh. A knight of Ilium Lois seeks the chaos. Perfect. All right. Now we are ready to end this video. So uh, I think we're going to head back to the bonfire. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like that.